fresh in the apocalypse? Or do you want some money to barter? We always want to look fresh, Jeff. <laughs> What's up, Cakes family? It's Meech here. Welcome to our new debate show, Sneaker Swap, where we argue a lot. Fellas, the topic for today is, if you had the Dior Jordan 1, would you trade it for a half a year's rent? Okay, 5 million people tried to secure these sneakers. Only 8,000 pairs were made available to the public worldwide. That is very, very, very rare. What are we doing here? Christian, I want to hear from you first, man. That's tough. That's tough, man. I can't even front. Like, half year's rent sounds mad good, but I'm going to yours. I'm keeping it to yours. Like you said, 5 million people to try, try to cop 8,000 pairs. You got to sit on that, bro. You got to sit on that. Like, honestly, the Dior's going to be the most coveted pair since the Red October's in, like, in 2014. Only other shoe that might be even close, probably the Off-Whites, and, like, I still think the Red October's are higher than that. And if you just think about it, like, the people who kept the Red October's, like, it's only 250 when it first dropped. And people sold for 4K. Now it's looking like at 10K. So you mean to tell me if I got these Dior ones, right? Right. And they're going for like 15 right now, six years or so, I'm looking at what, 30K or so? I'm keeping that. Plus, the shoe just feels luxury. It feels like everything you want. I don't want to see any other Jordan logos out Air Dior on top of it now. So like, <laughs> I'm keeping the shoe. I I absolutely love to hear that, man. Like <laughs> having these shoes is like being a part of very, very exclusive club. Perfect. Uh, CJ, talk to uh, me. I mean, okay, so I, I love you, Christian, man. And I don't – and I, you got into the math, which is a perfect way to break this down. Yeah. But, and I don't want to remind us of this, but we are in a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> if I have the Dior's, I got to sell them. If I can guarantee some rent – I mean, so I'm in L.A. right now. Right. My rent, six months, that's like – uh, 12 or 2000 a month. That's like, you know, that's $12,000. And also too, I'm a bad sneaker dealer. Like <laughs> I, don't, I would give these up for like 5,000 and be like, man, I made it. And it's like, no, it's worth way more than $5,000. So I, if I was, if, if I was a good businessman or a real estate agent, maybe, but I'm just like, I know my situation right now. And I would, I would sell those things or I would get the rent. That's where I'm standing. CJ, $5,000. <laughs> that's just like unattainable for me so that's what every sneaker to me that i can't get my hands on that's they're five thousand bucks <laughs> okay. fine cool so there's a couple of things about me right like i've never been the avant-garde fashion guy i don't think i've ever owned anything from a major uh high fashion high price retail brand so me owning the diors feels like kind of a clout chase it kind mm -hmm. of feels like i'm stunting and if my first item from Dior is a pair of sneakers. It's kind of like, what are we really doing with life? Right? Uh, so that would be the first thing, but they, they're fire though. Let's, 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 yeah. let's be, let's be honest. This isn't their, their fucking fire. Right. <laughs> but there was a wise philosopher, Jimmy McMillan, who once stated yeah, that the rent is too damn high. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We live in a major city. I live in New York city where the average rent, Y'all wild and coming here living, first of all. The average rent is $3,000. $3,000 in Manhattan, right? Okay. Or even $2,000, just like you said. We'll go to LA. $12,000 I can get. These things are going for like eighteen twenty five. You're telling me I could get $12,000 for, for that one time? I, I think it's something that I consider. Yeah. I, I mean, I want to say I hear you considering it, but like, I think I, Christian, I loved, I think you made a great point about sitting on it for a year, sitting on it for two years and seeing that value double over time, Jeff. Like I know that you can get a nice little 10, 12 K lump sum, but what if it could be 40 K? What if it could be 50 K? All right, well, let's talk about it. We're going to talk about financial freedom today. <laughs> like let's, let's get into it. No. I could take that $12,000 and I can invest it in a whole lot of ways. What if I buy three or four other kicks that are kind of priced in the same way and sit on those and then flip those in a year. I could probably double up what I have under yours. Plus, you're also considering the fact that people actually have the money to buy these sneakers. Maybe if you, maybe if you fall upon a, a celeb or an athlete or somebody who has that much disposable income that yeah. they're going to pay for that, then God bless you. But other than that, 
I could take that money. I could flip it in the stock market. I can do, I could do a whole lot of other things. It might be even smarter to wait the next year and flip it for the 40 K that you're talking about. Again, either it, way you're going to get that money. Is there going to be a next year though? I hate to harp on that. Right. But then Come also, on. but Jeff, okay. I don't you want to look fresh in the apocalypse? Or do you want, want some be, money to barter? I don't want to be too cynical look fresh, here. Jeff. <laughs> I don't oh, want to be too cynical here, but I want to bring up what Jeff said earlier too. For most of us, this would be our first Dior piece, right? Okay. So like, and, and I feel like the philosophy in this group has always been wear your sneakers, wear your sneakers. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to pull off a pair of Dior sneakers with my Ninja Turtles shirt. Right now, <laughs> for an on-camera thing, I'm wearing a Santa Claus Hawaiian shirt. Like, we know my, my fashion. So, like, I can't be – you can't go, like, 90s, 80s pop culture outfit and then boom – Eighteen thousand dollar Dior's on the feet. It just why it, not? Why, why not? not? It's fashion. Not. It's you. Yeah. It's, I would actually expect you to wear that, and somebody <laughs> on the outside would be like, "Oh, I know he got money because to pull all that off and then wear the Dior's. I know he's probably an he, exec somewhere. No, he's either an exec <laughs> or some YouTube vlogger that I'm not. Keeping up with. You know, that's like yeah, yeah, TikTok stars are getting paid yeah. out this motherfucker. <laughs> uh, Jeff, CJ, like. We're sneakerheads. So what if the Dior is our first pair? Like Dior yeah. one's the first way. It only fits right. It only makes sense, man. True. It's a good way but, to start for sure. That, I mean, yeah. Well, why not, right? But I, I mean, I just you know, it's. I'm not saying that I'm I'm against wearing those brands or, or having them. It's just I've never really owned anything like that before. So for me, but do believe I cop those. Your weddings. <laughs> your your uh, graduation parties, yes. Sayanieras, bar, mi bar mitzvahs. I'm wearing them everywhere. All the major occasions, you gonna see me fresh in them to yours. See, no, that's what's the the right thing is like. If uh, you have a pair and you know how to split it up into a bunch of pieces of content, you're really getting your investment. You know, exactly. I'm exactly. going to sneaker cleaners. I'm doing YouTube pranks with them. I'm doing, you know, again, I hate to, I'm not a vlogger. Maybe secretly I want to be, but like, if you know how to split this up into sneaker content for BR kicks, then maybe these are worth it instead of getting that rent paid. So can we talk quickly about my guy with the video going around? He's eating cereal, Cocoa Puffs outside of Dior. We're talking about people with disposable income. I know that these shoes are retailing for $2,000, but why are we disrespecting the sneaker game by putting cereal in our shoes? Like, wait, he's eating all, out of the Dior's like that? He's putting the cereal in the shoe, pouring milk on top of it, spoon in the, in the, in the, where your foot go, scooping out. See, that's like a whole fuck you to like all yeah. of us. That's a fuck you Come to on, people man. who don't got $2,000, yeah. that lost the raffle, who yep. wear their kicks, and who's really about the culture. Like, that's the type of stuff that I'm talking about. These are the people who get, all, that have 50,000 stacks of a, of a release of Jordan 1s in pick a color, and people who really want them can't get it. You know what yeah. I mean? That's why I'm kind of like, yo, at this point, should I keep them so that another hype piece don't get them? Now you now Christian from a philosoph philosophical perspective, I'm kind of like maybe I need to protect the culture and keep them and and I feel like, like the yeah. Mona Lisa some shit. Protect it from bad guys. Like <laughs> don't we don't want Vigil our precious cargo <laughs> in the wrong hands. Sneakerhead. We're we're, we're sneakerhead vigilante. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's so wild that we are in situations where you enter a raffle, and I know they said don't call it a raffle, but right. if you win, you can pay $2,000 for a pair of sneakers. Oh, thank you for that privilege that I am now <laughs> afforded the opportunity to spend $2,000 on a pair of Jordan. Brainwashing. That we've seen white and gray, white and stone colorways, and it really is just that, like, Okay, again, peek into the future, guys. See how far that Louis Vuitton, remember when the Louis Vuitton, whether they were bootleg or not, when right. Louis Vuitton uh, started doing the swooshes on a pair of white on white Air Forces? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, I I'm scared of what the Dior print is going to start looking like on all these other sneakers that then devalue the Dior's, you know? That's true. I didn't think about I, I still want it for the drip. Person I know. Like, no, I, you're I, in the I, moment. I, I got to get a fit off. Yeah. Also, low key, talk about the most like nerve wracking walk back home. Like, <laughs> yours in hand. <laughs> Everybody see the no, You got to take the Uber. You got to call the Uber as soon as you get out the store. Yeah. 
point to point, door to door. I'm not, well, hell no, door to door in my Dior's. That's not like pop smoke right now. Whoa! That's a hit, that's, that's a hit, that's... This is why I'm excited for the NBA to come back because I heard PJ Tucker, he brought 60 pairs and I would put money down that one of those 60 pairs has to be the Dior ones. And no. if we're in the Western Conference wow. Finals, I'm not, I'm not predicting this, but like right, I mean, PJ pulls them out, woo! To ball in? Yeah. Uh, He's bowled in ones before. He I, had. I believe yeah, it. He has. Think about this before. When I first saw them, like, when they first, I first saw the link that it dropped, like, at first I was like, ah, right, here we go again type shit, right? But yeah. then I was thinking, like, yo, I really need to, like, look for, like, the size 14, 15s that they have there. Just like a copy. <laughs> and then resell to a ball player? That's, yeah, a, I mean, that's, that's, that's the wow. thinking. That's <laughs> the right thinking, Christian. Like, <laughs> You're like, oh, should I get my size? No, get it for the players who have the money to buy them. Right, right. They're going to do the type of delivery where, like, hey, here's my address, come by. And it's going to be a whole, like, exchange. <laughs> Yo, you got to pull up, you got to pull up, like, outside of MSG, like, yeah, I know you didn't get those to yours. Come, 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 come. <laughs> What's your size? I got your size. I got your size. Team. Name for me, name five players for me that you guys think would rock the uh, Dior Jordan ones on court. Yeah, PJ, number one. PJ, of course. J.R. Smith. Of yeah. course. J.R., of course. Um, Devin Montrez Booker, Brown. maybe? No, not Devin. He, he's wearing Kobe's. Um, Montrez will wear them. Oh, yeah. Montrez, Montrez will wear them. These are, these are current, right? Current? Yeah, you guys that are on teams right now. I think he's agnostic. He'll, he'll wear whatever he wants. Right. Montrez? Yeah, right? Or is he Reebok? Yeah. Well, he, uh, he is Reebok. That is true. But I thought I seen more Kobe's this year, so maybe. Yeah. I would say, I oh, mean, I would have said uh, Shy or Shay, yeah, he, but he just he could, he could still do it. He, he could. could still do it. Same That's still family, right? Huh? Yeah, it's still family. Like, you know, Kobe was wearing Jordans. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you could you could do it, but I, I don't think, I think out the gate they would want him to wear. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo. <laughs> Converse I, a little bit, dog. Let it cool off a little like, bit. Like, let, like, let it heat up a little bit, Shay. Let it heat up. Here's oh. another thing, because I would have said Kuz, but he just got signed. So now I'm like, are all these guys who are yeah. making wild sneaker choices? Like, I would have even said Ubre, But, like, these guys have made wild, like, distinct uh, choices in their footwear that, that they're all signed now. Like, that's I how feel, they're making waves. I feel like my, my dark horse is Luca. I feel like if he came out and he rocked the, he rocked yeah. the Dior's, it, the world would implode. Well, so, yeah, Jordan brand athletes. We, he, Luca, yeah, he Zion. Hate him. Hate him. Yeah. Would he rock? Tatum would rock, would he rock him on court? Maybe just shoot around type deal. He maybe. yeah. If they're down in the series, he would. I feel like, he like <laughs> someone's got to talk about me. He's got that Mamba mentality. If he's not winning, he's got to win in some other category. Right. So the the story behind the Dior's was the Dior family. The Dior company they made thirteen thousand pairs. Right, five thousand were for top Dior clients. The rest of the eight thousand that was left over was for the rest of the world. What if they made more than that 13K. You know, what if they did 130,000? What does that look like for Dior? What does it look like for me? Make my, would I have a pair? I don't know. I don't know what the math is. Somebody can do the math on the side, like Jeff said. But if 5 million people try to cop them and get 5 million pairs, what's that? 10 billion? That's 10, 10, 10 billion would it be? 5 million pairs is still sell out. Yeah, 5 million, two, yeah, 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 2,000, yeah, pair. Yeah. Would anybody try to cop them? Yes, of course. Cause we didn't know ahead of time that 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 it, it was that exclusive. We knew it was exclusive, but only yeah. eight thousand pairs available. If I come in, if I come in the house, and it, no matter how, if I told my wife, "Oh yeah, I won this raffle in two K," and then I still drive a Nissan Cube. <laughs> now, not, CJ, you know you, conversation. You know when it really doesn't work when five pairs show up on <laughs> one day, <laughs> and you're just like, "Yeah, Nike did their their clearance," and it's just like, "No." It's still your money that you don't, you only have two feet. Right. That is true. That like, is but true. I do like all those shoes. I go, but yeah, I got hooked up through Bleach Report. They sent us a pair <laughs> to China. Heard. They just sent them to all the these right shoes are 100 bucks. I got the media days. Yeah, they just sent it to me. I'm a huge Laker fan. <laughs> CJ, I want you to also think about too, like, yeah, you'd be rocking to be yours in a cube, but like, what about that, that picture when you step out the car? Yeah. And your foot hits the ground, bro. You know, like, I could be there to capture that for you. I would love that, like a slow mo, like me coming out of my Nissan Cube, and then well, it would only be like it would touch the ground, but I wouldn't press my foot down because <laughs> you can't increase it. You can increase it, and then I would be like cut, and then I would put them right back in the box, take a picture, throw them on StockX.